we are um, here at a dealership just outside of Utah. I've broken my arm, and I can no longer drive this truck. Little storyline for you. So we're going to buy a truck that has an automatic transmission. We're at a Kenworth dealer. Let's see here. Um, these are all Kenworths that are going to be... There we go. Oh, look at this. we got a Freightliner available. Beige cream. <laughs> there we go. Ugh, what an ugly truck. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Oh, they're so ugly. You know what? I'm going to buy it because it's ugly. That's what I'm going to do. No, I didn't. I just don't have the... Uh... Eh, sequential's horrible. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Having to snap through 14 gears or 16 gears? No, no thanks. <laughs> click, 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 click. Hey, what's up, Galaxy Gamer? Though you can have a shift to neutral, so that would kind of work, but no, I don't, I'm not interested in doing that. We'll just get a truck with a uh, a uh, manual transmission. So we're not going to get anything fancy. I have $108,000. I'll pay eighty. We'll trade the truck in. And uh, let's see, customize configuration here a little bit. We have some money to play with. What does this make it? We want the base like extension cab. White is okay for now because we're in the desert, so it's freaking hot out there. Oh man, that's gonna take us over budget, I think. Wow. So we have to go with a day cab. Oi, oi, oi. Let's take a look here. Can we do? No, but it won't do it. It's going to... We need as long as we can get with that short. Can we do 200 gallons? Can we do a 220? Nope. This 220? Nope. So it's got to be a 6x2. We don't need a mid-lift or anything. 6x2, 200 uh, cal. 116 additional price 10,126 and that's it <laughs> it's the only upgrade we get uh, I want to get as much horsepower as I possibly can get we're just not gonna be able to do it confirm let's see if we can afford it still wow that leave us with 4,000 bucks but that's a big engine in there um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that but we need to look at the transmission <laughs> 10 speed. The 6 speed automatic or 7 speed automatic right there. 10 speed ratio, 10 speed returner, 10 speed, 6 speed. I wish we were at a Volvo because the Volvo has the i12. But we'll do this 12 speed. Can we afford it? Nope. <laughs> so we need to go to the bank. Hang on. I knew this would happen. This is going to take way too long. Yep, we're going to leave. Yeah, we're going to go to our friendly bank because we don't owe any money at the bank right now. So we can take out a loan for 100000 Yep. We'll be fine. Everything will be good. <laughs> I guess uh, we'll go to the go to the truck dealer here. Okay, they are tempting, aren't they? All right. So once again, we're gonna customize the configuration on this. We are gonna go for the longer cab, as much horsepower as freaking possible. Now that gives us some different engine options. Look at that. And we're going to go with the 7 speed automatic. Vantage interior. We can go with the cheaper interior. I don't really. I like the gray interiors better, honestly. <sighs> um. 
Um, suppose we can worry about this later. What do we got here? Is any space shuttle? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's I don't want to pay a lot of money for paint right now, though. If we can get like a three cool cheap paint schemes. Nope, they're all expensive. So we'll just go with white. There we go. I think we're going to hit the mountains. Being Utah, we probably will hit some mountains, I would imagine, but I don't know. Maybe not. We don't need oversized load. We're not doing that right now. Don't need a bull bar. I do want a painted bumper. We're just going for the white, clean look right now. We'll... Yep. That's good for now. Just an all-white truck for desert driving. I do like the mirrors. Hmm. No, I don't, I don't like bull bars on modern trucks. I really don't. On the older trucks, I like them, but on the modern trucks, I'm not a huge bull bar fan. Put some Goodyear tires on that. And we're going to put this, let's see what we got back on the back. To match our whiteness. It's an all-white truck. What's up, wide boy? Uh, anything up here? Nah. We got there. Nope. I hate those because I, I want to see out. We do need our nameplate, though. Yeah. I know they get them. I just don't like them. <laughs> Doesn't mean that it's not something that people do. I guess you probably should put a deflector on there, huh? Being out in the desert, we're going to get lots of bugs. And we're going to go with the white paint. There we go. That's a nice looking truck. It's about as good as it gets for white. I'm going to confirm. It's cheap, too. Not too expensive. And it's an automatic, so it has no soul. Um, <laughs> we're going to purchase it outright. And I think, yeah, I want to drive my new truck. So we're going to do our old truck. Well, we're going to put our old truck in Oregon. And we're going to give it to this person. Which means we have another driver working for us. So that works out well. <laughs> it's desert driving. The Final Fantasy Cactus. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I've been drinking again. They got this pop. It tastes a bit like root beer, but it also tastes like it's alcoholic. It's not, but it just it tastes like alcohol. Like, oof. Methinks that the white of my truck does not match the white of my wheels. Huh, we're going to have to work on that, too. But later. We're going to get rolling here. I want to get into Utah. We've been screwing around enough. Uh, right? No, I can't handle it. All right, so we're going to put the truck into drive. Sorry, there's some new controls here that i got to get used to. My steering wheel setup is a little bit different here in England because it's, you know, different. So I apologize as I drive thing over things and get used to the controls here. So enter, and we're going to fix that paint, because you know Arthur. Yeah, I wish I wasn't so anal. <laughs> Just get to it already. <laughs> I can't. I have to fix this. Oh, Lord, 4000 bucks. All right, so we have how much money? We have $40,000 left over. Should we get it? <laughs> All of the buttons are wrong. I know, OCD, exactly. If only you knew, if only you knew how crazy I drive Simone. She's like, man, you are just like, relax. I'm like, okay, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, so let's go find a job. We need to get into Utah somehow. So let's see if we, we can find here. Ooh. Kenworth Jobs going to Seattle. Uh, Washington, Oregon, Arizona, New Washington, California. New Mexico, California. Let's see if we can find any jobs to Utah. 
Ah, Utah, Ogden, let's do it. Hey, hey, all right, let's begin our delivery. Cars, boring. Let's see if there's anything else. Carson City Burns. I don't care if there's less money. I don't. Ogden. Oh, there we go. That's a little more. Hey, white trailers to Ogden. There we go. <laughs> all right. We shall begin our journey. Your trailer is ready. Proceed to the loading area. All right. If I can just figure out how to get my truck into it. There we go. All right. So we're going to make a UE here. Uh, that's great if I had a flash drive of my control file, except for this is a completely different steering wheel with no stick shift and everything's completely different. So there's no point in taking my control file because it's not the same controller. <laughs> uh, yeah, so truck sim, unless I have the exact same setup. Hey, baby. Moni has subscribed for... She's tier two for 12 months in a row. She's on a 12-month streak. Thanks for the sub, baby. <sighs> it's a little weird not shifting gears, man. Like, I have to get used to... One thing I do like about this truck is that you can see the mirror, the, the left side mirror there is very visible even when you're sitting back. Like, with those flat front trucks, you can't see the left mirror at all. But I like this because I can see it. Well, that was pretty red. The other thing that's weird, too, is this truck only has a 12 7 speed transmission. That's. No, I have a G29 and I'm using uh, Apex from Hori. It's got like four buttons, and... but it works. That's all I care about. <laughs> It's better than using an Xbox controller by a long shot. Hori. H O R I. It is a UK device for designed for PS4 uh, players, but it is not super PC compatible because it doesn't have it's not like a G29, but it's also a third of the price of a G29. So Things like it's missing, uh, like some of the buttons are crossed. So, like, the blinker buttons are the same as the O and X button. I'm not sure why that is, but they don't really have any drivers for the PC for it. So you're kind of you're kind of stuck. But like I said, I'm glad to just have a steering wheel. To be honest with you. But we'll be driving some automatic trucks for the next couple months. Saving money on transmissions. So we'll have to buy fancy 18 speeds. And I'm going to get lazy here. In my old age. Oh, I already am. Ooh. There's my trailers. Oh, I got to get that out of here and head back. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get out of this driveway already. I can see that. I didn't realize it was going to be one of these. There we go. I was in the wrong gear. No, it's not. The sensitivity isn't the problem. Yeah, we. the issue that I have is that, like, <laughs> for example, it's got... A blinker button but the blinker button crosses with the X button so when you press the blinker it also presses the X button so you can't you lose the X button so you have actually instead of having uh, eight buttons you have four crap I'm not gonna make it out I'm gonna have to go the other way and then come around the block so yeah this game is awesome it is and now that they got, not, once again, Utah's 11, 12 bucks. We'll find out if it's worth it. But it, it is, yeah. I mean, if you like this game, of course it's worth it. I mean, you, 
you want to expand and have all the different places that you're going to go to, right? So. Another issue that I have is that you can't split the pedals. There's no, it's a combined axis. And there's two buttons on the steering wheel that could be used as other buttons, but they're tied into the combined axis. So you have, when I press the right button on my steering wheel, it presses the gas. It's so, and I can't separate that from the actual gas pedals. I don't know, it's kind of a weird thing, so. Uh, game is 20 bucks. Oh, no, I meant the, the Utah DLC, the add-on that just came out today is, is $12. Yeah, the game itself is 20 bucks. Uh, wait for a sale. Uh, the next sale is going to be right after Thanksgiving or during Thanksgiving. Keep your eyes open. That's when to get it because it'll go on cheap then when it's during those times. So, uh, And a lot of times they'll have bundles. So for like 20 bucks, you'll get all of the, the maps plus the game. So it's, you know, keep your eyes open for those kind of bundles too. But it's definitely worthwhile. All right, so we are finally underway. We're goofing around for a little while in Ogden, or in uh, Elko. We're on our way to Ogden. Why well, it feels like I'm going the wrong way, but I guess we're gonna start heading east here. Yeah, you need, it doesn't have to be like an amazing PC, but a good PC does help. Like a Core i5 with a decent video card you need for this game. There we go. Three point eight miles per gallon. There you go. Getting up to speed here. I wonder what the speeds are like in Utah. I would imagine probably sixties and seventies. Sorry, I was taking a drink from my cup, and that always throws off the uh, view, uh, the view. Take it the pup pup wee wee. <laughs> he's like, are you crazy? Do you see what it's doing out there? <laughs> the, the, the dog, he's like, what, are you crazy? <laughs> he's like, I'm not going out there. It's like 50 mile an hour winds outside. You'll get blown away. Yeah, just like Mary Poppins, he'll blow away. Doggo. Up, up, up. <laughs> All right, here we go. So Way station, and of course, we are get pulled in. So we'll be slowing down. I could actually see buying white trailers for this and just pulling this like a white truck all around. Completely devoid of branding. Calm there. There you go. Yeah, it's crazy windy here. Whoops. All right, so put the parking brake on. And we're going to go ahead and uh, press enter to pass the thing. And we're off. It is brand spanking new, and your name is so purple I can't read it. <laughs> what does that name say, honey? That really dark purple one. <laughs> For some reason, your name came up purple. <laughs> it's weird. We have a lot of horsepower tied to an automatic transmission, so... I'll tell you what, even like the Euro sports cars are all going automatic now. It's kind of... Oh, Viking, okay. What did you say, honey? Um, 
Yeah, you don't want to go outside? Alright. Oh, he's going, he's going. No, he's too scared. Alright, I gotta take my dog Wee Wee. Hang on, guys. Pause the YouTube recording. And so the dog has gone potty. He's happy. I'm driving off the road. I'm happy. 75 through here. Wow. You're welcome. Resume our cruise control. We can actually go faster. 61. Great Basin and East White. This is all new. Eli Twin Falls. Great Basin. We're coming up to a new area. East Wells. I don't remember East Wells being in the map. Do you guys remember that? I don't think that's been in the map. The speed limit's 75, but everybody's going 60. Uh, yeah, feared. After this stream is over, can you please show me, or not maybe tonight, but it's in the next couple days, I would like you to show me how to do that because I'd love to have those extra buttons. I just need to figure out how to do it. So, did I cross the border? Okay, so that is, we're in Utah. The Honeycomb State? Is that what they call it? Yeah, the Jeep got compacted. No, I didn't hit the Jeep, thankfully. Whoa. It's quite curvy. Oh, they can only be bound to other controller buttons. Oh, that stinks. What's up, Cage69? Yo, yo. Frequent deer crossing. Whoops. You can see other drivers. Oh, that's right. Yeah, now you can actually see your other drivers. Speaking of which, I forgot to hire a driver. Shoot, hold on. While we're doing that, I'm making a phone call while I'm driving. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hi, recruitment agency. I need to hire a driver. Could you please get this lady who's got the best rating so far? Oh, do you get a dog? Do you have to? Doggy. There she goes. All right. I just got into Utah about two seconds ago, and then remembered I forgot to hire a driver. Oh, that's right. Truckers on phones is illegal. You're right. Crap, I just disabled my cruise control. Holy crap, the speed, the speed limit's 80 miles an hour. What? What kind of craziness is that? I'm happy going like 65. Doggo... Yep, you can hire drivers. I just did. You grow your company, Blo uh, Blood Wolf, and then you, um, as the company grows, you know, it gets larger and larger, and you hire, you get more trucks, and you uh, hire drivers. And oh, I see Jay. Easy doggy. So you you hire, you buy a, you buy extra trucks, you buy garages, you expand the garages. As the garages expand, you have room for more trucks. So you buy more trucks, and you get. Uh, can hire drivers to drive those trucks and uh, and you can upgrade those trucks as you the trucks that from what I've heard the drivers actually do better like if you buy like the sandwich that sits in the truck and you buy them a laptop computer and stuff like that they actually do better um, if they have those things so it's beneficial to you to actually upgrade your trucks uh, with all the trinkets and stuff inside it makes your drivers actually perform better so I'm gonna call you wolf be wolf yeah, I think we're in Utah at this point. This is looking very different. Yep, I read online people were saying that they actually, uh, the truckers do better when they have, like, like especially the sandwich is a big one. The endless sustenance. I don't know if that's available in American truck. I know it's available in Euro truck, but... Uh, is it it's shutting off, honey? Uh, it shouldn't, unless the battery's dead already, but it shouldn't be dead. It's only 
Unless, did you leave it on all afternoon? It's a wire. It's a wireless. So you never turned it off, so it was on for like five hours. That could do it. Um, if you want to come in here and get that cable, that cable might fix the. Um, you might have to plug it in and yeah, charge it up. And I think you can charge it while you're using it. So you can plug it into the computer and have just you'll just have to have it wired while it's doing it. Oh, weird. Brr. That's the only reason why the ba the battery's going low. Port of entry. I think. Uh, I think we just entered into Utah. I didn't see any signs because I was reading the text, but it works, but then shuts off. Uh, no, that's not going to work, Jared. It's not one of those kind of headphones. It's a. It's got rechargeable batteries inside of it, but maybe the batteries are bad. It hasn't been used for a while, but it was kept charged. <laughs> Easy dog. It's working now, but then it'll shut off. Weird. I don't know. Uh, press enter to pass the inspection. And off we go again. That's the second way station we've had to hit. Yeah, Alfie squeaking his toy. I know. This one is, um... Anyway. Right, Feared. Exactly. I saw that, too. Like, you could use X input, but that won't work because then you're, uh, you're no longer, um... I know, I don't know how to do that, honey. I won't shout at him if he has an accident. If you know how to do it, you could, but it, I, don't worry about it. I mean, it should be fine. We can make it smaller next time. Easy, dog. Here's the long... Okay, we're, these are the salt flats, guys, what we're seeing here. Alright, babe, go ahead. So we are crossing what are called the Great Salt Flats. And they're great. They've added a new pause recording, too, to this program. So I'm going to have to learn how to... I'm going to have to make an icon or a, a button for that. Okay, so I need to pause. Alright, so... Hang on one second, folks. Seems like this truck settles in right at about, uh... Well, how fast are we going? Oh, we're climbing a ridge here. I think we're on I-80. Yeah, that sounds about right. Possibly 90, but I think it's 80. Whoops, sorry, truck. I kind of got over in his lane. Thank you, wifey poo. Wifey Poo helped me set all that up, so there's some kind of accident or something on the other side. You guys see that? Thank you very much, honey. There we go. Yes, they do, Jer. Yes, they. Wow, look at those mountains in the. That's yeah, beautiful. No, that was not me solving the problem. That was Simone solving the problem. <laughs> so we need Idaho, too. All right, so then we are... Uh-oh. Look out. Look out. Look out. Salt hair. Ooh. Fender bender. Yeah, look at all that, too. Those are cool rock walls. What? You're not going to ruin the stream. What are you talking about? But have fun recording. Moni's going to start doing some more uh, 
Oakfield Farm for the YouTube channel. Saltair Drive. Happy recording, honey. Yes, we are doing multiplayer tomorrow night. Once again, from 8 to 10. I would. I think that, oh, Salt Lake City. Here we are. We came through the Great Salt Flats to Salt Lake City. I like the puppy. Oh. All right. Dog, go back in the living room. That's right. There you go. Okay, we're getting off here, I think. Uh, we want to go north, not east. 15 needs. Yeah, we want 15 north to Ogden. Oh, look at this. This is really cool. It's a good thing the dog's in the background knocking the garbage can over. Moni, do you want to get him back in the other room? He's just not happy in here. Hey, it's the Fun Factory. Elfie will be the star. What about Gromit? Yeah, he's totally happy eating all the garbage, if you don't mind. <laughs> There's a big capital building. I'm I'm not Jack F I'm using a small steering wheel, but it works just fine. It's a um, Hori Apex steering wheel. It's got like six buttons. It's pretty basic, but it works. It's better than using a controller, so. Oh, I need to get off here, actually. We're exiting. Wait, we're in Ogden already? That was the... F Ogden is kind of like a suburb, sort of, but not that suburb-ish. Wow, that was really short. A spot of please. Yeah, see, that's what I'm hoping they fill it in. There's a lot of things, like, I, I feel like a lot of Capitol Reef is missing, like that area. Ooh, crumpets. I've never had crumpets. Yeah, it's not that steering setup. I'm in England right now, so I don't have my setup. So yeah, the question is, if Moni was to do a puppy vlog, who would want to watch her raise Alfie? He's super cute. Yeah, none of them have very big wheels. Hey, what's up, Taylor? Oh, what? No, God, it's not. A t it's about raising a puppy. <laughs> So we are in sunny Ogden, Utah. And I'm going to try to find a job going south now into the heart of Utah. I mean, the, uh, um, Salt Lake City is in the heart of Utah, but... No puppy raising vlog. But he's so cute.
What's up, soup? <laughs> oh, Seth, how are you doing, Sethy? I know, I've been here several times and I don't think I've ever had a crumpet. It had lots of tea though. And it's different and it's good. We don't have tea like they have over there over here. In America that is. Ah, thank you for the sub. Haven't played cricket yet. It is just raining here. You hate tea? Oh no. <laughs> I think I don't know what crumpets are, but the old saying is tea and crumpets, right? So. Yeah, I like iced tea. Wait a minute, am I supposed to be in the other lane? Oh, this is a one-way lane. It's not marked very clearly. Sorry, truck. Cut that guy out. Poor fella. Yeah, crumpets are kind of like biscuits, aren't they? You've done four loads so far? Jeez. It only came out like two hours ago. <laughs> All right, I'll get you some more in a minute here. Let me get to my destination. Beans and hot dogs. Oh, is it snowing? Soup, is it snowing at our place? I think we're going to be doing um, the multiplayer tomorrow night around like 7.30ish, 8 o'clock um, Central Standard Time, or I'm sorry, Eastern Standard Time. So that would be 7, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. It was, huh, Soup? Look out, dude. Pulling through. And let's see where they have us deliver. Alfie. What are you doing, dog? Hold on a second, folks. What are you doing, doggy? He's having some fun with the laundry. Off he goes crazy. I'm five hours ahead of Eastern Standard Time, six hours ahead of Central. So it is 9.10 right now here. All right, there we go. Cargo's ready to unload. I'm going to put the parking brake on, and we're going to unload the trailer. Ta-da! It does not happen automatically in real life. You have to get out and undo it. But All right, so that was our first trip into... Um, Utah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video for those of you on YouTube. YouTube. Uh, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Always help. For those of you on Twitch, we'll be continuing on into the rest of Utah. We'll be driving around quite a bit. So I'll be right back, though. I'm going to get my wifey poo some tea.